Hi folks, um, it's 2016, I'm Neil, um, I thought I'd do uh, what am I going to do this year video, what is 2016 to me, I've just watched Hoops of Dooms one and it sort of inspired me to have some thoughts and see what I think 2016 really means for me and my hobby. So the things I've been doing at the moment really have, I've been building up my Warhammer 40k Blood Angels army which uh, it's pretty much done, aside from some maybe some forge world pieces or um, adding extra drop pods and so on, the sort of bits you just have to do. Um, it's pretty much done. I mean, as I said in the video the other day, I, I got my Land Raider, which I've now assembled, so and I played it yesterday, and it was penned on the very first shot against it and blew up, killed two of the Terminators inside of it. <sighs> Toys. <laughs> And I got myself a little attack bite, which I've also built as well. So I'm gonna get these painted. And basically, sort of that's the, the, the reason I lifted them up really is to sort of mention the, the first aim for 2016. First aim for 2016 is to finish painting my Blood Angels because just like everybody else, I think out there, every time I bought some, I would try and get them painted. Then I buy some more. I try and get them assembled. Then I try and get them painted, and it ended up just getting on and on and on. So my army's probably. It's majority painted, but I've got um, the vehicles, those, those two things over there to paint. I've got some of my, my, the rest of my bike squad. I've got um, my um, Devastators to finish painting. My Sanguinary Guard to finish painting. My Priest, Sanguinary Priest to finish painting. So yeah, so I've got about probably just, just under half of my army still needs to be painted. So I'm going to try and get that done. And that's going to be my priority number one for this year, just get it finished. Um, at the same time, I've also got the budget Sigma, um, which I've been doing the Orcs. I must have been struggling with it because my time has been really hammered over the last couple of months, and it's probably going to continue to be quite under pressure for the next certainly the next three to four weeks. I'm going for promotion at work, I've got to do all kinds of rubbish to get them made that. Um, but once that all settles down, I think I should be able to catch up again with the um, budget Sigma. I'll do the best I can. I don't think I'm being honesty uh, unless I absolutely focus on that entirely and that doesn't really suit my, where I'm going with my own gaming um, then I'm going to get that done because the majority of games that I play at the moment are 40k because Fancy 8th was the, my key game before but the, since Sigmar's come out unfortunately as much as I dislike it there's just been very little traction with it. People got excited about it for two minutes and the sort of six guys I play with um, only really me and one other now sort of maintain an interest in it, but we've been distracted by the likes of Frostgrave and our 40k armies. And then equally, my other sort of thing which is drag, going to drag some of my time is 30k, which has always interested me on the sidelines, but I think this is 2016's year and I'm going to do something with it. So I've got my Betrayal of Cal set over there which I'm going to put together and try and paint once I finish the Blood Angels. Um, although there's going to be a Blood Angels army so they'll probably supplement my other army anyway for 40k. Um, and then once I've got them all assembled, I'm going to paint them, and I'm probably going to buy another box and sort of go, you know, build up a, up to a, a decent-sized Heresy Blood Angels army. Hopefully, then the book will come out in the meantime. Um, I can start looking at the other well, Forge World bits, maybe in late 2016, 2017. The other distraction I'd like to do, and this is maybe something I might look at for Edic Beer's challenge. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm going to try and plan this one out. It's my Necrons. So as you saw in the video I got for Christmas, I got loads of Necron stuff. Um, and I had some other stuff stashed away. Plus all the fantastic models which were there for my son. So this army's going to be for my son, but my wife probably might play it as well, so I'm going to do some games in-house. Um, which is try and get them done. So yeah, the three challenges really for the year. Finish Blood Angels, do the budget of Sigma, probably with the Orcs, and then finish, start, well I'll never finish it in 2016, but certainly be working towards having my second Warhammer 40k army up and ready for Christmas next year. So I've um, got something new to do for 2017, and I think that's quite achievable. Um, I think I'm going to have a lot more time come uh, into January, um, so much more of the sort of time where you can just turn your mind off and sit down and paint. Um, so I'm going to do that. On a video front, I'm going to obviously I'm going to try if if there's things I'd like to achieve this year, I'd like to do some bat reps. Uh, I do actually play a lot of games. I play once a month with friends who come to my house, and we play the odd extra weekend with 
one of the guys who is reasonably near to me. I've recently joined a group who play every week uh, in Surrey. Unfortunately, the night they play clashes with my wife's um, taekwondo because she's a bit of a ninja. Um, so I want to go every week, but I'm going to try and go occasionally. And they're kicking off with 30k, so I'm going to play a bit of 30k there. Hopefully, if I ever build it. Um, but from a pure YouTube perspective, what I'd like to do as well, and I actually quite enjoy this, I find it quite hard to do. It's, it's hard because it's A, I finally start to put my face on the camera, but um, just getting the time to do it. And I'm quite inspired. I mean, I, I said it in the video the other day, I look at like Edith Beer's videos and Hooves of Doom and others, and they you know, keep the content moving. So I'm going to try and do the same. But now, some weeks I'll probably do more, and some weeks I'll do less because I'm a dad with three kids and a full time job and so on. But, but what I want to do. I want to go through my Blood Angels and maybe do some reviews of the individual units, some thoughts, sort of my view. I'll never be the competitive gamer view, it'll be the guy who just enjoys to play. Um, equally, I'd like to sort of do videos about where I'm going with my Necron, so what's my what's my order of business. Probably not so much on assembly, because I think that's, you know, if you're into that, cool, but if you get once it, it's building it, it's building it. Um, but how I take them forward and what I do, um, I'm going to, like I said the other day, I'm going to use the Idic Beer's guides to sort of help me through that and make my own, sort of try and weave in my own views of where I am and what I'm going to do and how it's going to work and throw it out for a bit of scrutiny. And then equally I'll do the same about my 30k stuff, so I'm probably going to, as I build it up, I'll talk it through. But that'll probably be quite periphery. As well as reviewing the Blood Angels then, which will sort of be, I think, one of the first things I'll do, I think I'll maintain my Age of Sigmar stroke Fantasy Eight sort of view of the world and I'll go through my Skaven army and I'll review that because I've got quite a lot of Skaven models um, I can easily feel 3,000 Skaven not all of them are painted because like everybody else I bought and bought and bought and bought but quite a, quite a significant proportion of them are um, because of the amount of models you need for a horde fantasy army I don't think, I, I don't think if it, even if I had painted every one of them from day one and focused on that I still have them finished there's just so many one thing Age of Sigmar did was give me an excuse to stop painting clan rats, uh, which is good. So that's it really, I suppose it'll be a time when I'll, so like I said, I'm going to try and do some thoughts, I'll respond to other people's videos, I'll look at doing the Necrons, um, I might, like I said, I might throw them towards the Eric Beers challenge, but I'm sort of working out of my head, I'm probably going to give that a little bit, just while I get over this bump over January try and contribute as much as I can to um, Budget Sigma and hopefully that'll be, um, I'll get more, as much time as possible but prior, I said priority, Blood Angels, finished, painted I really want that done by Easter, latest, but may, maybe even earlier um, and then get onto the Necrons and the 30k stuff and do some good review videos um, apart from that, um, the other thing I'll be doing is carrying on watching everybody else's videos because there's so much really good stuff out there and I've been, um, I just watched the um, Vince Ventura 2016 awards and there's some very very notable channels on there some of which I've been watching for a while now um, and some who didn't win who I think you know should be holding their heads high because I think they do fantastic stuff as well and basically that's it so I think 2016 is going to be really interesting I'm going to try and do a lot more try and be more involved and um, try and build my subscribers because obviously I'm quite low I'm quite new um, and it would be good but I can't wait I think 2016 is going to be fantastic so Hopefully, more paint, more games. Um, I'm going to try and well, definitely, once the weather picks up, I'll be back outside in my own sort of studio gaming room. Um, try and get some people down, get some things on film, make it more diverse in my content. Um, so that's it. So if I haven't already, you haven't seen my previous video, I just wish you a happy 2016. Um, and I hope everyone gets some fantastic stuff done on the, in the hobby. Thank you very much.